Hello all and welcome to another Gavin Entertainment video. It's Art here with the book review for Witchmark by C.L. Polk. What, if I can describe this book in one word, I would say what an intriguing book. It was a cross between Shadow and Bone um, series, the Lord of the Rings series, and a little bit of its own thing. It was really, really good. The characters were vibrant. The story had a lot of um, twists and turns and mysteries and whatnot going on. But it also had a whodunit in the middle of the book. Like, the book carries a whodunit. It also carries intrigue and depth because there's a whole world outside of the main character's world that is influences the main character obviously because he's living in the world but it intertwines interweaves and not not so often in to get annoying but often enough to cause enough havoc for the uh, main character the protagonist is the best word I can say. It is a very deep, well thought out book. I'm glad I read it per LeVar Burton's recommendation on LeVar Burton Reads and uh, personally when I uh, asked him for a recommendation on Twitter he recommended the book as well. So it's kind of a double recommendation from LeVar Burton Reads because I hadn't listened to the podcast at that point. So that's how it became kind of a double recommendation. And it was an amazing book. I hope Storm Song, the second book, is just as good. The book was, like I said, intriguing. It was deep. The characters were vibrant and provocative. The story was well maintained and well paced. It did not drag on one single bit. Every word had its purpose every word every word had its job to do and did it well and I like books like that because like a lot of the earlier Song of Ice and Fire books are like that as well uh, by George R. R. Martin I like authors that don't waste words and don't add fill words and C.L. Polk did not. Excuse me, my nose seems to be itching me here to, right now. Uh, but it was a very, very tight, concise, nice book. It was a very refreshing read because it was something new. It was a very... What's the phrase I'm looking for? It was a very thought-provoking read. It was a page turner, an edge of your seat kind of read. A book that I recommend of the highest order. I am literally trying not to spoil it because I so badly want to go and this character did, did this and that character did this. But I, as you know, well know, when I review a book, I don't spoil a book because I want to give you the chance to read it and experience it all for yourself. And that's where it's hard for me right now to do it. But I can tell you the book it is well worth your time. Uh, for me, it took me about... Well, let me put it to you this way. I read it in the library copy in about two and a half days. And then I liked it so much, I went to my local bookstore and I bought a copy. Because I was like, this has to be a, a place of honor on my shelf. Absolutely has to be a place of honor on my shelf. So that tells you right there. In Goodreads terms, because it's the first in the series, I'm going to give it a four and a half out of five, uh, which on the Goodreads scale is going to be a four out of five, because I like to give the series rooms to grow, room to grow. So that's how I do things. But on my own personal scale, it's a read it, own it, love it. Thank God I read it because it's a new author that I immensely like. It's good fantasy. It's good 
the magic is practical. It's not just. It's practically. It's practical magic, and it's 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 exp explained in a man in a manner that is lo that logically makes perfect sense. If that makes sense. It logically makes perfect sense. And for that reason, that's why it gets such high marks. Because for me to read a author for the first time, now this may not be her first book, I did not look this up. But for me to read an author like this and to be floored by an author like this tells you how good C.L. Polk was. So, without me gushing on it anymore, I'm going to say if you've read any books by C.L. Polk, either Witchmark or any of her other works, if she's got more works that aren't in the series, further on in the series, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know in the comments down below. If you would like a gush review, which would be spoiler filled, of Witchmark, I would gladly do that as well. But until next time, you know I make video, uh, you know you know I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 12:30 p.m. Central, 10:30 a.m. Pacific, 1:30 p.m. Eastern. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. Please ding the ding the notification bell to be notified when I upload a video. And until next time, happy reading. I'll see you again soon. And peace.